Dr. McCleary, we've talked a lot about insulin and its role. Can you talk about insulin resistance, what that is, and potentially what that leads to? Well, insulin resistance is, uh, is a term that we've all heard, mm -hmm. and there, it's important to understand it because there is now an insulin resistant syndrome. Another name for that is the metabolic syndrome, mm -hmm. which is probably the most powerful risk factor for heart disease and for stroke. So what is insulin resistance and, and, and why is that bad for us? Well, insulin is a hormone that we all have naturally occurring within our body. And when we eat a meal, the body releases insulin and insulin clears sugar from the bloodstream. That's how it regulates levels of sugar in the blood. And it allows sugar to be transported from the blood into skeletal muscle cells, okay? And so sugar goes from our gut into the blood and then it's cleared from the blood by insulin into muscle cells and that's how the body controls blood sugar. Well, insulin resistance refers to a condition where your body becomes less sensitive to the effect of insulin. And what that means is you need higher levels of insulin to maintain the same accurate control of blood sugar. So with higher levels of insulin, you can regulate your blood sugar totally normally. However, high levels of insulin have a dark side. They can cause inflammation, they can affect blood lipids, they can make your blood stickier, and all of these are risk factors for heart disease. And they can also uh, be a factor in uh, generating an elevated blood pressure. So all of these side effects of having too much insulin because you develop resistance to the hormone insulin, that's what is the basis for the uh, insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome.